Hey everyone, this is Pouch as it's Hyde, and welcome to part 9 of the Walking Death Knight walkthrough. So, last episode, we went to the Scarlet Keep and um, saved that uh, Blood Elf guy who was in the dungeon. And that's about it, that took up most of the episode. So, yeah, right now I'm handing in the quest that I got last last episode. And yeah. It's been a while. Mhm. Mm I actually filmed this, I mean recorded this um about a week ago, but the it was really laggy and the audio didn't fit with the video. And so I had to make a new one. And it sucks. So, since it's been like a really long time, I'm probably gonna do like three parts today. Like, record them all in one day. Because, yeah. Thanks. Anyway, you go here, and you get the quest from that command dude. And he tells you to go into this house and execute one of these people. And I'm just walking in all pimp style, you know how it is. And you find a warger named Lord Hafford, Hawford, Hayford, something Ford. And he recognizes you, and apparently you two were um, slaves in Shadow Fang Keep. And. Apparently you saved him and a lot of other Worgen that were trapped there. And um... This is probably the moment where you start to break out of the Lich King's grasp, I guess. Because I think he's starting to break through. But um, whatever race you are, you'll get a different person. And they'll say different lines. And so the Knight Commander is asking what's taking so long. And he's telling you to execute him, so you gotta do that. And this this is really awesome, I reckon. Don't use any abilities for this. Damn! <laughs> that was pretty awesome. Ah, shut up. Jedi's creep me out. Why? They're like, a they're aliens? Come on. Yep, so you hand this quest in, you go to Talon Point. And, um, you have to go back. Get back there. And, um, you get a relic. I think it is. A relic or a trinket. And the thing that, um, people have brought this up, I've seen. Uh, nice backflip. Um, the Lich King, I said this before, the Lich King is dead. Uh, ooh, pardon me. <laughs> and, um, he's, but he's still alive for the Death Knights. So I think they should, like, change that, don't you think? Yeah, we will. And, um, they should, like, I know the Lich King's dead, but without the Lich King in the Death Knight story, it wouldn't work. So, I reckon it should... I was gonna say maybe the Lich King had a son and replace him with that, but that would mean something else. I was also thinking about um, Bolvar 4 Dragon being new Lich King, but, you know, he's still at the Frozen Throne. But, you know, maybe it could be like... This is pretty stupid. The Lich King is still there, but when you finish uh, the campaign... Um, it says 20 years later, and then, um, High Lord Mulgrain comes up and he's like, Oh, Lich King's dead. And you're just like, oh, crap. But it wouldn't be 20 years, it'd be like a year. So, yeah, you gotta go back on topic. You gotta go down near the docks, I think it is. Not at the docks, near the docks. And, um... You go to disguise as a really crappy looking tree. And, um. 
You go to ambush the Coria. Yeah. So, um, you go here and then you put on your awesome disguise. Check this out. Yes! That is an awesome trick. And he's. He's gonna come up to you. And you gotta surprise the hell out of him. Ready? Check this out. What's this? It's not a real tree! So yeah, you gotta kill him. He's got a nice mustache. And he goes down. And you gotta pick up his shit. I like to read everything. If you want to read that, just go back and pause that. Um... Yeah. And... With a bit of dark magic and his clothes, you, um... Or I think it's Orbaz will make a disguise for you and you'll turn into the courier. And yeah. I want to talk about something else, but I'll wait until I'm in disguise when I start talking about it. Don't you think Wargans look a bit stupid riding horses? Looks like he's humping it. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Yep, so you head in the quest. I think he laughs. No, he roars. Why is he always on one knee? And, um. Yep, yeah, he laughs. Told you. I'm the man. No. And, um. Once you accept the quest, you'll be automatically thrown into the. thing. Look. There's. Wait, I'll tell you that once I'm there. Anyway, the thing I want to talk about is patch 4.3 for Cataclysm. It it looks really good. And this new raid finder thing. I am I'm, I'm really excited about that, but I actually need to get some good gear because my level eighty five Death Knight his gear isn't that good. And I wanna do I wanna earn justice points, but after about a thousand times you've done the same dungeon, it gets boring. It, yeah. <sighs> But you gotta do what you gotta do. I just can't wait till. Wait, yeah. Get my item level up a little bit more. Anyway, um, you go down here and you talk to a, a band, a, something or other, High General, something or other, High General A, and um, you get some. She pretty much spills everything she knows to you. Which is very convenient. And, um. And, um, and, um, 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 um. I say um a lot, don't I? You know, I went back on my videos and I saw that I burp a lot. And I was talking to someone who, um, watched my videos and she said it was really awkward, so I'm not gonna burp anymore. Though I am going to make a montage. <laughs> um. Yeah, what doesn't make sense to me back there is how could they not spot your death knight you've got a you've got a rune blade and glowing blue eyes and they're just like oh you're just one of us nah. why is there one of those christmas thing things up I will hmm. for now, for now. <laughs> anyway yeah i the first time i played i thought he was a drenai but he's actually a human. Bit of general information there. You know how it is. Tomorrow is another day. It's another day. No shit. Um. Anyway, you go. You. He opens up a death gate for you, and you got to go back to um. Uh, Akers, and talk to High Lord Morgrain, and I think you give him a report or something. Well, you tell them something, yeah. Oh my god, that looks really gay. Oh, now I'm back to the normal. Um. Yeah, so episode's about to end. Thank you for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe. It really mean a lot. Next part, hopefully, this will be out pretty soon. Hopefully, the next part will be out pretty soon as well.
Um. Oh god. Um. Yeah. It's been fun talking. I'll try and upload these as fast as possible. Okay, I promise. So thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Remember to have a shower. And shut up. Um. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Hey, Millie. <laughs> um. Yeah. Have a good day.